So these are the Move NJME 800 Bass Enhanced Bone Conduction Headphones. Unlike the usual ones you see on the market, the ME800 is foldable, allowing you to neatly place it in its charging case or on the table. With an IP67 waterproof reading, it's safe to use in almost any harsh conditions. Moreover, it features a UV sterilization sensor and never run safety mode to enhance its safety during use. The headphones come with the QCC3040 chip and at the name suggests, are especially tuned for bass performance. Perfect for bass lovers like me. But how do they perform? Can they compete with some of the best bone conduction earphones on the market? In this video, I'll dive into every detail about them. Additionally, at the end, I will include footage from the testing lives of the Move Engine ME800 to reveal the making process and the stories behind it. All right, unboxing. So we have the charging case, some paperwork, the cable, and a charging base with the Type-C port on the side. And now, let's just move to the headphones. Woohoo! So this is the charging case. There is a reset key at the back, and there's also an indicator right here, Type-C port. Open it. I also found there is a ultraviolet disinfection sensor here. Take the headphones out. Charging contacts. This is the pair of foldable headphones. So to unfold it, you have to unfold like this, and then you put this uh, headphone back. Okay, just like that, and then you're good to go. On the left headphone, we have the function button. To play or pause music, you just press once on the function key. Double tap, voice assistant. To answer the phone call, just press once on the function key. And click once to hang up. To reject the phone call, just press and hold it for one second. Two buttons for the previous and next sounds. Move to this side, indicator, and this for volume up and down. Of course, there's one mode that I have to mention is the net running light mode. Press and hold the minus button for three seconds to end the always on mode. Then press and hold the minus button for three seconds to end the marquee mode. And then press and hold the minus button for three seconds to turn it off. Alright, that covers the design. Now, for this new to bone conduction headphones, the first question is, are these earphones prone to slip out easily? <laughs> oh, I feel quite dizzy. But as you, as you can see, these headphones just stay very securely. Actually, I've tried running and riding a bike and they stay steady. Better than other wireless separated bone conduction headphones I've tried before. Now, let's get to the most important part, the sound test. That's it. What do you think about the audio quality? Well, I'm not an audio expert and don't want to pretend to be one by using all those audio jargons. The official Kickstarter page does have a section explaining the patented technology and improved designs that make the ME800 outperform others. But as a regular user who loves bass, I can tell you I like the sound. 
from my experience, I do feel the ME800 offers better bass and high frequency performance, making the audio clearer and richer compared to traditional bone conduct headphones like the Sockets Open Run Pro. Of course, the audio I recorded through my mic and then to your headphones might get a bit distorted, and I suggest you try it yourself if you get a chance. And speaking of shockers, one of the most popular bone conduction products out there, what aspects that ME800 do better? Well, the first thing I like is its convenience storage. With ME800, when I don't want to use it, I can always fold it and put it in the charging case, which charges the headphones at the same time. In contrast, shockers uses an old-fashioned bag that's much bulkier than a case. You see, you can even fit it in my pocket when I don't want to hold it. Another thing I really like is the battery life. I've been using the ME800 for about a week, two or three hours per day during office work and commuting, and they easily last around a week. Additionally, with the charging case, a quick five minute charge provides around two hours of battery life, which is excellent. And what's more, they even come with a compact magnetic charging base, so you can charge it separately without even opening the charging case. Everything was designed with convenience in mind. And now, as I mentioned at the beginning, let's get to the testing labs to see how each pair of ME800s gets job tested, water resistant tested, or rotated like crazy before it gets released. These are the labs where all of that happens. The first thing I saw was the drop testing. They placed the ME800 onto a plate and let it drop from a set head to the ground to see what happens. The test on different ground materials with the headphones unfolded too. Surprisingly, I didn't see the headphones shatter or something. The second test is similar to the drop test, which is the double drum drop testing. Basically, you just put the headphones into one of the drums and let it rotate at a set speed. After that, you check the status of the headphones. Since the ME800 comes with the metal rods connecting the earphones, they also added the sword spray testing. I only saw this machine at an e-bike factory I visited before, but didn't know it had to be done on small objects like headphones. As the name suggests, it's mainly for testing the metal corrosion resistance to sword water. As the pair of bone conduction headphones, you would probably use them in harsh conditions. So, waterproofing is very important. The ME800 supports IP67 waterproofing, which ensures that it's both dustproof and resistant to powerful water jets, making it suitable for use in harsh environments where they might be exposed to dust and water. There are so many tests in the lab that I won't be able to talk about one of them just to keep this video short. Some of them are really interesting, like the shaking test, which simulates the possible pulsation or concussion the box might face during transportation. There's even a friction test to see if the logo on the headphones face after being rubbed for a period. This too would be great for my cats, so they wouldn't have to rub against my feet every day. Anyway, there are really a lot more tests than I expected in order to make sure that the final products deliver to any users of high quality. Later on, I also visited the factory production line for the Move Engine ME800 with a simple samples. It seems like they are ready to start mass production. But of course, as a standard process, they will make several hundred samples to go through all the lab testing before finally doing that. So to conclude for the Move Engine ME800, with its unique foldable and portable design, you can use it anywhere without worrying about losing them. This open design lets you enjoy the music while hearing ambient sounds, making it safer to use outdoors compared to in-ear headphones. The added features like Net Run Safety Mode and IP67 Waterproof Reading make them versatile and reliable for various activities and environments. Whether you're running, swimming, or just commuting, the ME800 stands out as a durable and high-quality choice. The great sound quality and good battery life offer a refreshing experience in the crowded earphone market. Even better, the 129 US dollars limited time kickstart offer is worth checking out. If you are interested, please check out the link in the description and back the project on Kickstarter now. Thanks for watching, I'm Sammy. I will see you in the next one. Dun, 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 dun.